Welcome to Defense News Plus. As per the news from the Times of Israel, for the third time in a week, the U.S. topped a joint statement of the U.N. Security Council for an immediate ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. The statement was placed by Norway, Tunisia and China in an emergency session, criticized both sides for the ongoing violence, but did not point out of Hamas rocket fire. A copy of the draft statement in early Monday morning obtained that it expressed grave concern regarding the crisis related to Gaza and the loss of civilian lives and casualties and called for immediate de-escalation of the situation of violence and respect for international humanitarian law, including the protection of civilians, especially children. The members of the Security Council emphasized the civilian and humanitarian facilities, including those of the UN, must be respected and protected, called on all parties to act consistently with this principle and stressed the need for immediate provision of humanitarian and assistance to the Palestinian civilian population in Gaza. The draft statement ended up with members stressing their support upon two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the lack of mentioning of Hamas rocket fire from Gaza may be one of the reasons for U.S. not to back this resolution. U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary for Israeli-Palestinian Affairs Hedy Amar reached Friday in Tel Aviv and has been attending meetings with Israeli and Palestinian officials to reach a ceasefire solution. The UN Security Council organized an emergency session on the violence in Israel 16 May 2021. Thomas Greenfield told uh, to the council that Hamas should immediately stop firing rockets at Israel. Notably, she did not mention anything about Israel's right to defend itself. 14 of the 15 Security Council members plan to issue a joint statement which requires unanimous approval after closed emergency meetings on Monday and Wednesday. U.S. has declined to accept their agreement saying that it wanted more time for its own diplomatic efforts to play out. During the session, envoys for the 14 other Security Council member states other than the U.S. as well as guest speakers from Jordan and Egypt stressed upon immediate ceasefire, criticizing the Israeli strikes in Gaza, causing deaths of Palestinian children, as well as the flattening of an office building housed by media organizations used by Hamas. Many members also condemned Hamas rocket fire in Gaza. All of them spoke against the Sheikh Zara evictions and called for a two-state solution to the conflict. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said, We call upon the U.S. to shoulder its dual responsibilities, take a just position together with the international community to support the Security Council in easing the solution and building towards a political settlement. He added Israeli Ambassador Gilad Arden asked member states to unequivocally condemn Hamas for indiscriminately firing rockets at Israeli civilians claiming its attack had been premeditated in order to improve its political standing at the Palestinian Authority's expense. In another update, the Israeli Defense Forces said the senior Islamic Jihad commander Hassam Abu Harbid was killed Monday in Israeli airstrike. Abu Harbid commanded the terror group's Northern Gaza Division and used to attack against Israeli soldiers and civilians for nearly 15 years. He was directly responsible for anti-tank missile fire lightly wounded an Israeli civilians last week. Islamic Jihad confirmed the report saying Abu Harbid is our blessed martyr. The martyr Hassam was a model as a leader and a soldier and in the performance of his tasks and duties. According to unconfirmed reports in Palestinian media, Abu Harbid was killed near his home in Beit Lahia in the northern Gaza Strip. Palestinian factions in the coastal enclave began intensive rocket fire towards southern Israel shortly after Israel killed the Hamas top leadership. Israel was searching him for long time to execute the top leadership of armed Palestinian organizations in Gaza. Over the past few weeks, at least three Islamic Jihad commanders and a senior leader were killed in Israeli strikes. In 2019, Israel eliminated senior Islamic Jihad commander Baha Abu al-Ata.
Abu al Atta's death touched off a round of escalation between Israel and Islamic Jihad, leading to the deaths of 34 Palestinians. Gilberman also spoke of Hamas's internal Gaza tunnel network, referred to by the Israeli Defense Forces as the Metro, which was bombarded numerous times over the course of the fighting. The military on Monday said to have demolished around 100 kilometers long tunnels. Hamas members went underground in fear. They were in big dilemma whether to be on the surface or inside the tunnel. The United Nations, Egypt, Qatar and other countries have accelerated their efforts to place and pass a resolution of ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas over the past few days. Israel denied ceasefire efforts in the hopes of re-establishing deterrence against Hamas. Palestinian terrorists in Gaza have fired more than 3,000 rockets at Israel since the outbreak of fighting on Monday. According to the Israeli Defense Forces, Israel has responded with widespread airstrikes against targets across the Gaza Strip. According to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry, 200 Palestinians have died since the beginning of the fighting, 59 of them children. Israel has said it does not target civilians and the many of the dead were terrorists or killed by errant Hamas rockets. On Sunday, 42 Palestinians were reported killed in the deadliest single strike since the violence erupted a week ago. The Israeli Defense Force said it had targeted Hamas infrastructure under the homes of Palestinian civilians. Ten people in Israel, including five-year-old boy and 16-year-old girl, have been killed in the rocket fire and hundreds have been injured. That's it for today. If you like our work, then please hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.